below welcome back to rick's kits so this is the group build uh wheeled vehicles and military use as hosted by yakim and marcus uh i'm doing the sas land rover pink panther for this group build uh this is all i've got going at the moment um so we've got all the wheels done they're not attached to the vehicle it all come off um i've got to admit the seam lines on the back as best i can um fill them in uh got the front done uh one thing i did mess up and i didn't quite follow the engine definitely was here for the steering um i didn't really pay attention what was going on um i put them on and glued them around the wrong way so that then made the steering arm uh too small to reach the pegs on the side to do the steering so unfortunately the steering is not working uh, i've had to cut all the pegs off so I can get the excuse me, it's just so I can get the wheels to sit on there um correctly. Uh we've got most of the underside done. I've still got the exhaust to paint up. And a couple of the bits in there. Model colour steel or something like that on there. For the bits of the engine part. As you know, this is the Pink Panther version. Uh, you can actually paint it in the European theatre colours, which are uh, green and black. Uh, but this is the desert version, hence the sand tyres. Uh, so this is going to be pink. I have mixed up paint according to the colour instructions, which is uh, 10 parts white. Um, two red and two buff. Uh, I didn't go two red. I actually only went one red because it looked extremely dark. Extremely dark. Nothing like any of the videos that I've actually seen. But this is might be better to show you this. This is the color. It is. But it's not quite pink. It's more buffy sort of pink. Which I think is what they want for the sand. Um, after watching a few videos on this, I actually watched one video of uh, these in the these in the desert, and I can't quite fathom out why they painted them pink. To be honest with you, the only actual time they sort of blended in with their surroundings was during dusk and dawn uh, when the sun was coming up and when the sun was going down they sort of blended in with the dunes uh, apart from that they stood out like <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to paint it up as I go along obviously um, but I'm going to be I suppose applying weathering effects to it so even though the tyres are going to be Painted pink. You can see, you're still gonna have the black un the black tire underneath, or the rubber colour tire underneath, and then I'm gonna uh, weather it off so they're not totally covered in pink. Um, I think it's the same. I'm going with the same with some of the tarpaulins and things that you get in the kit as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. They will have the like a NATO green colour underneath and then they'll be sort of weathered off to look a bit patchy so that's what I've got so far come back to you when I've got a bit of, bit of colour on um, and a bit more done to the vehicle I suppose see you in a bit okay welcome back so I've got a bit of paint now on the uh, Land Rover, as you can see, we've got some chipping effects going on. Uh, put down a base coat of uh, aluminium underneath. 
the uh, ink and then put down some liquid mask in the areas that I wanted to connect chipping um, we haven't overdone it on the wheels There's get the in focus we haven't like I said we haven't overdone it on the wheels um, wear and tear normally indicate that the uh, paint will end up coming off of the wheels anyway uh, as you can see the lighting is a lot more better just had to purchase some more lighting to make it a bit more amicable as far as I'm concerned but yeah so still got a ways to go got a figure to uh, paint another all the uh, bits and pieces that need to go on the back I need to do a little bit of chipping or whatever in the, in the back there because I think those oh just bang me head I think there are let me get that in camera I think they're supposed to be wood um yeah it probably needs some work doing on that but it's coming along oh, I'm happy with the results so far and the desert pink is starting to look a, a lot better than uh, I anticipated not being a fan of pink. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode, this video. I love you guys to, to bits. Thank you to all my subscribers, old and new. I really do appreciate you supporting the channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.